Alright, what's going on guys? Flying DBC here and we're back for another Pokemon Mastered video. So, I'm definitely going to have these videos going out in order today. I mean, I kind of need to. Because <laughs> the video I made before this, we were talking about the uh, rewards that we're going to be getting for the time trial event. Uh, so now we're going to be looking at the uh, like the actual event itself uh, for the time and the rewards that we're going to be getting. Or the points that we're going to be getting per stage and the time and everything. Uh, because we talked about the points in the previous video. Um, and I didn't, like, it just flew right by me. And I was like, okay, uh, why not look at the stage? But I was like, no, I did not. I'm not going to look at the stage. So, <laughs> we're going to be looking at the stages now. Uh, can it really just flew by my head and not go to the stage uh, while talking about the points? Because that would have been a smart decision. But uh, me being me, I just uh, completely forgot about that. So, <laughs> if you want to see the first video I made talking about the, the, the rewards that we're going to be getting uh, for the points as we climb up the ladder, I'll leave that down in the description below. So, like, honestly, if you want, you can finish watching this video and then go to that one. Or if you want to go to that one first and then come back to this. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Um, uh, just for context purpose, I guess you could just watch the first one first, but uh, <laughs> anyways, we're going to be looking at the time trial event, the stages, and the points that we're going to be getting in this video, so uh, so we're going to be looking at everything here, and it's going to be coming out on November 12th. Um, I'm like, I'm so used to seeing like uh, the month being first, and then the day being second, and then the year being third. Uh, so like, I'm just not used to this format the way that absolutely is uh, using it. So, but it's coming out on November 12th and then ending on November 30th. In case you are wondering, um, so for the first stage, it's gonna be practice. So like, you can practice uh, with your heroes uh, or your sync pairs as much as you'd like to see where you would place on average. Um, so for the fastest rank, uh, you're gonna be needing to beat it in three minutes and 30 seconds or under. To get the best reward and then for uh for a grade a you're gonna need to beat it in four minutes and under uh and then for a grade b five minutes and under and then for grade c five minutes or longer um so you get zero points there just because it's practice so you could just do it as many times as you want and i would assume that you don't need to do stamina or use stamina in the practice event like it would be pretty stupid if you need to use stamina for a practice so uh but this is good this is good uh, because anytime there's a stage that we can go in without stamina and just play with our sync pairs, this is great because then it allows us to just have fun and just try out new combos and everything, new uh, new team ups and all. So this is great. This is good. I like how they have that. Hopefully it's no stamina, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but the completion to earn medals, reward four star hasty hero, and then time to beat two minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how hard this is going to be. So the timing sort of means nothing right now. Uh, so when they officially come out, we'll uh, we'll decide and see if it's going to be very difficult to get to uh, 3 minutes and 30 seconds. But uh, anyways, for the first event, or for the first difficulty, it's going to be very hard. And it's going to be with the recommended level 125. So, um, yeah, so the weakness is going to be flying. So, of course... If you have Blue and Mega Pidgeot, they're going to be very good here. Uh, but of course, any flying type uh, will do too. But with uh, Blue and Mega Pidgeot having their uh, Mega Evolution and Synchro Expansion, they're definitely going to be very good here now too. Um, so for the first time reward, you get 30 gems. And uh, for the battle rewards, you get uh, 0 XP and 0 coins. Um, and then over here, he says you can only play 3 turns per day. In case you forgot to play today, on the next day, uh, playtime still stack for you. So if you missed one day, I guess uh, that will turn into six. So like if you didn't use all three attempts, uh, that will stack for the next day, it seems like. So then you'll be able to play uh, six times for the next day. So, um, but anyways, and then tomorrow you'll have six. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Uh, and then no limited playtime until all your turns run out. Okay. All right, so it does seem like I was right. Uh, so it does stack so like if you want to play all your runs on the very last day you'll be able to play like over 10 times or whatever uh but it's, it's good i like how they have that where like if you do miss one day so like if you only have time for two battles uh the extra battle that you didn't do will stack up for the next day so instead of three you're gonna have four so i do like that that's very good it does help out a lot so for time trial round one uh finished uh finish stage during time period to get highest rank so for grade S, uh, you're going to be getting 385 points. And don't forget, these points will vary depending on the same prints that you have. And I did talk about that in my last video. So if you want, like, that's why. If you want to check out that video to see, like, the sync pairs and everything, 
uh, which give you the reward boost and everything. Uh, but Nate gives you the most rewards because it's a 100% increase to your rewards. So this one, you're going to be getting like over 600 points uh, if you get uh, an S grade with Nate on your team. So that's going to be nice. And then for grade A, you're going to be getting 308 points. And then for grade B, you're going to be getting 256 points. And then for grade C, you're going to be getting 193 points. Uh, so it's not bad. Um, like you could definitely get to 100,000 points because that's the max amount of points that you're going to need for this event to get all the rewards. And the rewards are very, very good in this event. Um, because you're able to 20, uh, get like 20 power up items so that you could 20 out of 20 your save pair and get six stars. So it's very good. The amount of rewards, very good. Um, so like getting 385 is definitely good. Um, and that's why these, uh, sync pairs that give you boosted rewards are uh, gonna help a lot because uh, you're only able to do this a limited amount of times per day, it seems like. So you're definitely gonna want to maximize the amount of points you get with the sync pairs that, uh, that they're giving you for the boosted rewards if you have them. So definitely keep a look the lookout on that. Um, and then for the next difficulty, it's gonna be, an, um, uh, they're going to be weak to flying again, and it's going to cost 20 stamina, and uh, you're going to be getting 30 gems on completion, and then you're going to get 600 coins, but uh, those don't really matter because we're really looking at uh, uh, the uh, uh, the points. So obviously the higher the stage, the more points you're going to be getting, and for round 2, for S rank, you're going to be getting 550 points, which is actually pretty good, a lot better than stage 1 of course. Uh, and then for grade A, you're going to be getting 440 points. Grade B, 365. And for grade C, you're going to be getting 267. Or 275, my bad. Uh, so definitely better. Um, but it's going to start getting harder, of course. And then for um, the completion on this stage, you're going to be getting 30 gems. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> for those two stages, you're going to be getting 60 in total. And then for round three, this is the big one. This is the big one. So for S rank, you're going to be getting 1,100 points. For grade A, you're going to be getting 880. Grade B, you're going to be getting 730. And for grade C, you're going to be getting 550 points. And don't forget, when you have uh, Nate and all the other sync pairs that give you booster rewards, these rewards, like the points you're going to be getting are going to be insane. So getting to 100,000 points is going to be super easy if you're going to be able to beat the... Uh, the the time trials in with the S rank because then with the 100% increase you're gonna be getting like 2,200 points per per run with Nate on your team because since he's a flying type and they are weak to flying Nate is gonna be your best option for this event so if you end up pulling for Nate you're gonna be climbing up these uh, rewards so fast and then when you have like um, other players or other sync players on the team like uh, Rosa 2019 holiday uh, 2019 like she like the amount of points you're gonna be getting is gonna be insane so then getting to 100,000 points is gonna be super fast and then for completing the stage you get th uh, 30 gems as well so in total you're gonna be getting 90 gems for completing all three stages but you're also gonna be getting like 1,200 gems for completing all the stages that have uh, or all the ranking rewards for uh, for the stage so like up to 100,000 points you're gonna be getting 1,200 gems which is good which is good um, but, uh, of course, this is going to be, again, catered towards, uh, pay-to-play players just because you're going to need Nate to, uh, and the other summonable sync pairs to, uh, to get the most amount of points because they're, like, I would assume that their percentage boost will be stacking. So, like, if you have Nate and then Rosa Holiday 2019, Rosa gives you 70% and then Nate gives you 100 that will give you an extra 170% increase. And then when you have the third sync pair, which is, I think, 30%. Um, and then I forget who the who the third one is. I think it's Blue. So then when you have Blue, Rosa, and Nate, you're going to be getting an extra 200%. So then you're going to be getting like 3,300 points per run. And that's going to... And this is going on for like a, like a month and a... Not a month and a half, but uh, about half a month. So if you're able to do and get uh, gra S grade every run with that team, you're going to be getting to level, or not level, uh, you're going to be getting to 100,000 points very easily. So <laughs> if you're free to play and you're trying to get all those uh, rewards and everything, 
then uh, I don't know. I don't know. This might be difficult for free-to-play players because you're going to need to summon for Nate in order to get and maximize the amount of points you get in this event. Um, because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot because we'll actually go back uh, very quickly um, and then we'll look at the rewards. Uh, we're not going to go through all of them. I already did that in my other video, but like if we see all the way at the bottom, we can see that uh, the max rank reward is going to be 100,000 points and we get 10 power up skip uh, power up tickets over here and uh so for the for the characters uh like i was talking about nate gives you 100 percent, and then rosa gives you 70 percent. blue is 50 percent. okay that was more than i thought and then you have some free to play uh sync players over here too so like skyla um you're gonna be getting 20 percent with them so it's not bad for free, free to play players but they like definitely nate rosa and blue they're gonna be helping you a lot when you have them all on the same team so yeah like honestly it will it will be difficult for free-to-play players for sure but i mean even free-to-play players will have a chance to get these sync pairs of course um like nate he's gonna be coming out here the spotlight so you could get him on any other banner but you're gonna need him for this event so that's the thing you're gonna need him for this event in order to um uh to get a lot of points so like it does suck but it is what it is what can you do um and it's like that with a lot of games anyways so it's not like unfair i mean it is unfair but like all games tend to do this anyways which does suck but like i said it is what it is what can you do um but the rewards are amazing so like honestly it is worth it for sure so like if you are free to play and you want to summon for nate because of the rewards then i won't really argue with that because the rewards are really really good and uh, if you do summon for Nate and get 100,000 points, you're going to be making back like a decent amount of gems back. Like if you do one multi and end up pulling Nate, then you make back half of what you got from uh, from getting to 100,000 points from that one summon. So it's not bad. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Um, this event does look to be super fun, uh, but we'll see how difficult it is. Uh, because like we don't like the the timings really mean nothing right now because we don't know how difficult it will be uh, But all we know is that the rewards are <laughs> amazing uh, But uh, we'll have to see uh, how difficult it's actually gonna be um, And we're also getting another game mode as well, and we'll look at that like later on uh, But I wanted to highlight this because the rewards are super super good uh, but anyways, that'll be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think of this event coming. Uh, I think it's amazing. I'm looking forward to this. Let me know what you guys think. That'll be it for the video, and I will see you guys later.